Lou Who. This is Cindy Young here at, with Lou Who Stitches, and I'm here to do a Q&A with you today. Um, I'm going to be answering some questions from people that responded to my thing on Instagram to say, ask questions. So let's get started. All right. First question comes from Nathan Grogan 02, and he asks, how do you get started designing cross stitch? Well, my first admonition to you, Nathan, would be to start drawing. Um, whether you do that with pen and paper or pencil and paper and crayons or colored pencils, or you do it on a tablet with a program, you need to start drawing. You need to start getting your ideas out there onto something. And then, um, you know, find your program that you want to chart things on. I use Winstitch, um, Mac, and they're, they also have Mac Stitch. And they're, I think they're the only people that have a program for Mac. So if you are a Mac user, Apple user, that's the program you'll need to use. But there's also PC Stitch, which does a really good job. And there's a few others out there. You just need to do a little research and find out what they are. I'm not as familiar with those. Uh, so start charting your designs and then start stitching your own designs. <laughs> so, and then stitch, you know, chart, stitch, draw the things that you love. And um, you'll, that's, that's where you start. Um, if you're asking, how do I get, how do I start selling things? Um, start asking questions um, like this one. Um, it helps if, um, if you were to ask another designer a question to be specific and what you're asking them, it's a little easier to answer. Uh, just because, you know, we could, there's, there's a lot of steps, but I would encourage you to do the hard work and to do the research and learn about the industry, learn about the, um, learn about your audience. Um, even though Etsy has its drawbacks, Etsy's a great place to start um, presenting your work. Um, it's fairly low risk. You don't have to start printing things right away. You can offer things as um, automatic downloads. And um, so that's a pretty, I'd almost say risk-free. It's not completely risk-free, almost risk-free way to get started um, by presenting your work on Etsy. Um, but do your research, check out how other designers present their work and, you know, um, you know, format it for a pattern. Um, and then, yeah, do your research. I think that's probably the best, the best thing I can tell you to do. Okay, next question is from the Scruffy Kitty Corner. And actually her first question was also asked by Gem Lady 62 And it asked, how did I get started design cross stitch patterns? Well, kind of the same thing. Um, I got started designing cross stitch patterns um, when I first learned how to cross stitch uh, or do counted cross stitch. Um, I have a background in graphic design and um, when I first got married way back in the 90s and we moved to where we live now, uh, I was all wanting to be a housewife and there wasn't a lot of places for me to work as a graphic designer. And uh, I, so I was learning how to bake bread and <laughs> how to do a proper clean on the house and, and all of that stuff. And um, I was subscribing to Better Homes and Garden because that's what you did back then. And anyhow, um, I ran across this counter cross stitch pattern because it was the early 90s. Counter cross stitch was kind of, I would call it its first renaissance still. And uh, Anyway, I asked my mom, mom, how do you do this? She had been doing counter cross stitch for quite a while. And she was like super excited that she'd finally gotten me to do something, um, you know, in the textile world. And so that's how I learned to cross stitch. And then it didn't take me long after that to want to start designing cross stitch patterns. Um, there used to be, and sometimes still is, uh, prompts in magazines to um, 
for contests. You know, I'll say design a Easter egg or design a pattern around a song or something like that. And so I, I did that. I, I tried doing that, I never submitted those, but that's kind of where the seed was planted. And then I raised kids. And when I finished raising kids, my husband asked me what I wanted to do next. And I thought, you know, I'd really love to try my hand at designing cross stitch. I do, I had done, had a small craft business back in the early nineties as well, doing tool painting and going to craft fairs. So I had some idea of what the craft business was like, but things had changed a lot in the almost 20 years <laughs> between the time that I uh, was doing those craft fairs and I finally got back to um, doing this. So um, that's kind of how I got to started designing cross stitch patterns. Um, I talk about this in more in more depth in previous in a previous floss tube video, and then if you want to go check it out, last June I did an interview with Gary Parr on uh, Fiber Talk, where I talk about that as well. Okay. Next question, Scruffy Kitty Corner and Gem Lady 62 also asked, what inspires me? So what inspires me? And you know what? This goes with another question that Autumn Lane Stitchery, my friend Aaron asked, and it is, what are your favorite types of things to design? Uh, so what inspires me are birds. You can see I have birds up there. And if you go through my pattern selection, there's lots of birds in my pattern selection. I don't know why birds, nature, birds, nature, um, crayons, color, 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 <laughs> all of those things inspire me. I really love vintage storybooks and cards. Um, I love cottagey type things. So a lot of times what I do um, is when I'm looking for inspiration is I go on Pinterest and I just look at pictures of things that I love and um, I'm pinning a lot and sometimes I'll go back and look at certain boards where I pin what I know are ideas and um, when I go back to those boards the ideas had time to marinate and when I look at the picture again I'm ready to put it down on paper or on um, my Procreate on my tablet or something like that. So those are the kinds of things that inspire me. Color, nature, cute things, home, um, anything to do with home and homemaking. I love that. So those are the things that inspire me. Okay, this kind of um, Scruffy Kitty Corner asks, what advice do you have for beginner want to be designers? So this kind of ties into Nathan's question a little bit. And my advice would be draw, 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 draw. Then stitch, 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 stitch. <laughs> and do your research. Um, ask questions. Most designers are, um, I think I mentioned before, are really happy to answer questions, um, but make them specific questions. And um, yeah, just get yourself immersed and do your research again do your research uh, find out how the industry works and you know that's my advice to would be want to be designers okay my friend nancy at pickle barrel designs asks do you stitch all your own models and the short answer is I don't stitch all my models, all my own models. I stitch a lot of my own models. Um, <clears throat> when things kind of get down to the wire sometimes though, so I have a model stitcher friend um, who, actually we have never spoken to one another like FaceTime or Zoom call or anything. We just text each other. <laughs> so Catherine, we need to change that. Anyhow, um, and she'll do stitching for me. She's quite the dab hand at stitching and she, she can knock a piece out pretty quick for me when I'm <laughs> kind of desperate. Um, usually that happens like around time uh, for market 
need a work market um, or like <laughs> expo this year. Um, but so I don't stitch everything. And then in the past, my mom has stitched for me. And um, so no, no, I don't stitch everything. But I do enjoy stitching my own stuff. And usually the stuff that I will stitch is something that I'm not real sure about color on. Like I've picked a thread that I think is the color that I want and maybe I'm not really sure it's gonna work. So I'll stitch it because then it's a lot easier for me to just rip it out and change right there. Um, the things that I will send to my mouse stitcher are things that I'm, I'm very confident about. And then she stitches it and she'll look like, as she's stitching, she's looking for mistakes I made in the charting <laughs> and uh, that sort of thing. So, um, Anyway, that's the answer, Nance. Okay, the next series of questions are from Less Amazing Olivia. Um, however, I'm gonna call her More Amazing Olivia because my daughter is named Olivia and I think Olivia's are pretty amazing. <laughs> so she asks, how long have you been cross-stitching? Well, um, you kind of already got the idea that um, definitely from the early 90s, but I did learn to embroider when I was six or seven years old. And um, I realized that's now like half a century ago. <laughs> and uh, anyway, but counted cross stitch, I've, I guess I've been stitching for 30 years. Yeah. Um, sometimes with more intensity than other times. <laughs> Um, and she asks, any tips or tricks? So I would say one tip I have is to invert your hoop. So instead of laying, like here's your hoop and you lay your fabric over the top of your hoop this way and then put the outer hoop on like this, instead of doing that, have your inner hoop here and your outer hoop here so that actually your fabric is sort of laying inside of the hoop. And that just helps keep the stitching cleaner. So if you things get dirty, it's actually the backside and nobody really knows. Um, also, if your thread is getting kinky or anything like that, you know, tangling up on you, um, don't be afraid to use thread conditioner or beeswax to help with that. Um, it seems like certain threads are more prone to that. Even like certain colors can be more prone to that. I don't know why. Um, and then I, I, I don't have, you can do whatever you want, <laughs> but I had tried the loop method for a while and I really like that for starting a piece just because it's, you're not trying to anchor, you know, back and all that. I've never figured out the pin stitch. Um, but I don't tend to do that because I, I feel like my thread twists more that way. Um, so you're taking a piece of thread and you're folding it over and creating a loop. And when a thread is spun, it's obviously going to have a way that it wraps. And kind of what happens is then that thread wraps around itself and when you fold it over. So I like to use two separate pieces um, going in the same direction, if that makes sense. So those are a few of my tips and tricks. And then, um, more amazing Olivia asks, what is my least favorite and most favorite embroidery stitch? She loves French knots. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with my least um, because I do do embroidery, you know, surface embroidery as well. Um, my least favorite embroidery stitch is satin stitch. I just get really bored doing it. And I, I don't, I feel like it's wasteful. <laughs> Because you're just kind of, I mean, depending on how big an area you're using your satin stitch in, I kind of feel like it's wasteful. And I, I, that's just me, okay? Um, I do, I don't mind it so much when I'm doing like an old vintage curl piece um, because it's yarn, so it kind of tends to go quicker because the fiber is obviously 
thicker and um, because it's usually yarn a yarn type fiber and um, but yeah satin stitch is my least fa favorite my most favorite is probably the lazy daisy stitch because it's just cute and as I mentioned before I like cute things uh, so yeah my the lazy daisy and then I really like the stem stitch I know some people don't like stem stitches but I find the stem stitch and then regular cross, you know, counted cross stitch, I find those very relaxing, you know, because it's the same thing over and over again. And um, so that's my favorite one. And that's all the questions. Okay, so that's it. That's all the questions that I had and all the answers that I had for today. <laughs> Anyway, I um, wanted to announce a really fun thing that I'm doing on Facebook, though, and that is I started a group just for st stitchers. Um, primarily, if you like like Luhu Stitches stuff to stitch, it's called Luhu Stitching Nest. Um, you can go to Luhu Stitches, my page on Facebook, and there is a link in the um, feed there and you can go and sign up there's one question to answer one super duper easy question i'm not going to give away what it is and anyway come join the fun um there's a whole total four of us right now but i would love there to be a nice big group so that we can talk about things and share stitching and um just all the stitchy funness anyway <laughs> so go check that out um there will be links below um and thumbs up would be awesome subscribe hit the bell what else if you have more questions you can um if something i said today spurred a question in your mind go ahead and do it down there and if i get enough questions i'll do another round of question and answer um, and feel free to ask me any questions. Um, if I don't feel like I can answer it, I won't answer it. <laughs> anyway, um, hey, have a great week. Um, I am going to, this is going to be a regular thing. And um, happy stitching. <laughs>